Yeah, what's good everybody? It's your boy Young and I'm back. We back with the Sacramento Kings rebuild. <laughs> First and foremost, make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you know when the next video drop. We're gonna get right into it. Um, like I said last episode, we was gonna skip past these whole league meetings. We gotta see what pick we get in the draft. Um, really quick, if you did not watch the last episode, go do that. But for everybody that did what they were supposed to do and watched the last episode, this is what the team is looking like so far. Uh, we got De'Aaron Fox, Halliburton, and Kyle Guy. We kept them. Um, like I said, we couldn't make any moves at the trade deadline for Buddy Hill and Harrison Barnes. So we just kept them on the team simply because we just couldn't make no moves. Um, but I'm trying to figure out if we can make a move to where we can get a pick for either one or both of them so that we can, you know what I'm saying, move that money off of the uh, contract and I'm mean, gonna move their contracts off the books and then we can get somebody that could potentially help De'Aaron Fox out. Um, I kind of thought to myself and I was like, you know what, maybe this team, the way the team is structured, you know, I might just do a realistic rebuild and not like a, you know, one season, boom, get a ring. Uh, so let me know in the comment section below. Do y'all want to see like a realistic rebuild or do y'all want to see me like push the pieces forward and then we trying to go get a ring the first year? Because that's how I like to make my leagues. You know what I'm saying? We push the pieces forward. We try to get a ring the first year and then we just go like that. Um, but yeah, Marvin Bagley and Jabari Parker, we just going to keep them on the squad uh jabari is a free agent now so we're gonna give him some money so that he can come back i like jabari at the power forward and as far as his money is concerned he said to get i don't know and that's probably bad because he's 26 so i'm pretty sure he's gonna be asking close to 12 to 17 million dollars depending on how the cpu goes um and then for my centers i forgot to do centers i'm sorry y'all um for my centers we made the trade for Montrez. i just went ahead and made that trade um simply because my is younger and i can push the needle with Montrez as far as um what he offers to the table so if i do a sign and trade for Montrez and get a better center or something like that then i'm gonna do that i don't know why they got him listed as six seven when he's actually six nine slash six ten in real life so i'm gonna change that um rashawn holmes yes we're keeping your Rashawn holmes and meant to i don't really know what we're gonna do with you but all three of them are free agents so we're gonna try to bring all of them back so we got a lot of moves that we got to make in the free agency so hopefully with the draft lottery we can get a couple of picks that are potentially help us to where we don't got to sign as many people back and we can kind of save some cap so let's get into the draft lottery and see what draft pick we get all right so it says that we could potentially get the ninth pick in the draft now we traded for a lot of picks and it's kind of funny that you know what i'm saying the ninth pick in the draft is where we're slotted at maybe we can package some picks together so we can get another one or we can just use the picks that we got and do something with it so let's get to it all right thunder gets the 13th pick but they have two picks they have a lot of picks the rockets do not keep this pick instead the thunder will pick and their pick went lower okay cool utah jazz so okay so utah jazz got the 12th pick so everything is kind of falling to where it's supposed to be all right here we are can we bump up and we don't bump up ah. so let's see the kings get oh the knicks get the eighth pick i don't know what i was looking at oh wow so it seems like the hornets just shot up to the first overall pick i think the hornets just shot up to the first overall pick bro what that's crazy we should have made that trade so it wasn't on camera but we had another trade um, for the Hornets' first overall pick. And the, the, oh my God. So the Hornets gets the third overall pick in the draft. And, oh my God. So the Timberwolves get the second pick in the draft. And then the Thunder get the first pick in the draft. Yo, that's crazy. We should have made that pick. We should have made that trade for the Hornets pick, yo. I'm sick right now. Huh, so it says we have the ninth pick in the draft. And we have the 24th and the 25th pick in the draft. 
I want to package those 24th and 25th picks. Maybe we can move up. You know what I'm saying? I want to snag that 13th pick away from the Thunder. Maybe we can do that with those two picks. Or maybe we can use those picks to get rid of those two contracts that we got. I don't know. But we got to move up in the draft. So the mock draft says that K. Cunningham is going first. Greg Brown, second. Isaiah Jackson, third. Jalen Green is going to the Spurs. Wow. BJ Boston. It seems like every every league that I go in with this with this draft class, BJ Boston always goes to the Pistons. Um, so hmm. From the mock draft, they said Kaminga might still be up there. I don't see where is he? Wait a second. I don't see um Evan Mobley. Where's Evan Mobley? They have Evan Mobley dropping all the way to 26. That's crazy. And then they got a so hold on y'all. We might be able to pick up Evan Mobley with the 24th pick. They have him going that low. I don't necessarily know what happens, but Scotty Lewis is drafted at 21st. Hmm. So the way this the way this uh, uh mock draft go, we might get somebody straight with this next pick now. Jalen Johnson. Okay. All right. So let's try to uh, see what kind of trades we can get for these picks so first off i want to do this trade for the 24th and 5th pick let's see if we can move up with anybody's pick and it doesn't look like anybody wants these picks so we can get the 13th pick but we have to absorb al horford's contract mm. let's go talk to the thunder see what they talking about for that pick i want to go see because they're asking me to take al horford's contract they already got the first pick they got the 13th pick and then in the second round they got three more picks so let's see what they talking about for this 13th pick maybe we can get something up out of it so they want us to trade the ninth pick and the 27th pick no we're not doing that buddy healed but we don't need al horford's big contract though can we do a sign and trade can we like flip him for something Now, we could potentially do this Buddy Hill trade, but at the same time, I want to do the Harrison Barnes trade simply because we'll pick up Jermichael Green. Jermichael Green would be a great little backup for just in case we can't get um, just in case we can't get Jabari back. So I think I'm going to make this move right here. We're giving up another pick. Like I said, I don't know if I want to do this multiple seasons. If we're doing multiple seasons, then we definitely don't want to keep being in the lottery over and over again. So it kind of works out on both sides. But like I said, y'all need to comment down below on the comment section. Do y'all want this to be a multiple season type thing until we get a championship? Or do y'all want me to go championship or bust? So please comment that in the uh, comment section. But we're going to make this move. We're giving up Harrison Barnes and a first round pick. Um for the 13th pick and Jermichael Green. So I'm gonna make this move. All right, so let's see what the team's looking like so far. So, so far this is the team. We still got Buddy Hield on the books. Um, and all these guys are really about to leave. Um, Justin James, I think, is a rookie and we drafted him. So we're gonna just re-sign him with his player option, I think. He has a team option or whatever. Um, and then we gotta figure out what we're gonna do about Jabari. But as of right now, we got Jermichael Green, which is a pretty good pickup. If Jabari is asked for too much money, then we're gonna let it rock. And then we just gonna rock out with J uh, Jermichael Green. And then as far as the centers is concerned, I don't necessarily know what we're gonna do at the center position. Um, but as far as our picks go, we have both the 9th and the 13th pick. We also have the 24th and the 25th pick. Um, I think we can just start shopping and let's package Buddy Healed with that second round pick and see what we can get for Buddy Healed. So they're asking for picks. We can get Larry Nance Jr., but we already got, you know what I'm saying, somebody of that caliber. Um... Precious would be nice, but Precious can't shoot. Gordon Hayward. Mm, Gordon Hayward don't fit that timeline. So, no, we're not going to use Gordon Hayward. Mark Carter Williams, no, he can't shoot. Huh, Gary Harris might be a good move. Gary Harris is younger. A little bit more athletic. Um, it's not a significant improvement. 
simply because of the fact that Gary Harris isn't a great shooter. Well, he's not a shooter at the level of Buddy Hill. So I would do this move, but then nah. Terrence Ross, same difference. Terrence Ross is a little bit older. Um, so I don't necessarily know who to pick. Now we could see what we do in the draft, but I don't know. Now another guy that I was trying to look at, but this could be more of a long-term move was Cassius Stanley. Cassius Stanley is an athlete and he's in the G League though, that's the only thing. So just seeing what he can do and how he can grow, um, I would want to make a move for Cassius. So I want to see if they'll be able to let him go if I give like a pick or something. But see, they're not allowing me to trade for him. So that would have been like a little nice move to get Cassius Stanley. Mo Bamba would be another good move. They're not using Mo Bamba. And we just got to be honest with it. Mo Bamba is a backup center. He could be something like crazy if he was able to play with us. So they're asking for the ninth and the 13th pick for Mo Bamba. But Mo Bamba is not worth that. They're asking for Buddy Hill in the ninth pick. I don't necessarily know. See, and then this is the hard part. They're asking for the ninth pick. I would give them the 13th pick and Buddy Hill. Um, let's see if we can kind of finesse our way into this into this trade. Chuma Okiki would be really good, but at the, at the same time, Chuma is a small forward, but he's really like a power forward. He can't really dribble like that for real he's a great defensive player but at the same time it's like eh, drop and lay up 73 he can't standing dunk so i can't really slot him in that dunking spot you know what i'm saying to make a small ball five his driving dunk is bad he can't really shoot his mid-range is decent like ah i don't necessarily know if i would want to have him he has a decent like he's a raw prospect um and he's coming off an acl injury so it's like, eh, I don't know. So we're going to remove this item. Um, let's see if I can put the 13th pick. I can I can deal with losing the 13th pick. Um, but at the same time, it's like, dang, we did all that work. So no, that's not happening. Ah. <sighs> Mo Bamba would be a good move for us, man. Because Mo Bamba is wasting his talents in, in the, at the Magic, man. Mo Bamba is definitely wasting his talents. And I'm not giving up two picks for him. I don't know. Something might change in the draft. So I'm going to just leave that one alone. I was also looking for Jared Allen. But Jared Allen is a well, restricted free agent. So we might have to throw some money at Jared Allen. Like I said, Jared Allen is in that same category as Mo Bamba. He's, he's a really good center. Could be a starting center. But he's kind of wasting his talents with them. And pretty much Nicholas Claxton could be their backup center and we could just snag him so that's another move that i'm looking at i'm gonna look one more time around the league just to see what i can get for buddy hill and then we're gonna hop into the draft um it's the same it's the same thing kcp is the same age but it's like what am i what am i getting i'm getting a lesser contract i guess um i don't really necessarily know uh it's hard, y'all. Put it like this. We're going to see what we can get in the draft. If we can get a shooting guard in the draft, I'm letting Buddy Hill fly for some picks so that we can free up some cash space and get us a center. Um, and that's what we're going to have to do. We got enough picks. we just going to have to just do what we got to do um, when we get to the draft. As far as our coach is concerned, I do not want Luke Walton. But let's look around and see if we can find some. Uh, Jacob Underwood looks pretty good. Michael Stafford, Billy D. We gonna get rid of Luke Walton. I don't want Luke Walton at all. Um, I think the person that I'm gonna sign is probably Greg Popovich. But Greg is old and Greg, Greg got five offers. I don't want to really like throw no money at him and then he goes somewhere else. So I think Jacob Underwood is probably the, the best move. Um, Jacob Underwood has an A plus in offense and B in defense, but we need defense. Uh, maybe Michael Stoffer. We're going to go Michael. Um, I'm going to give him the max money that he wants. We don't really have that much money. Uh, 
I'm gonna kind of come down a little bit from the budget um, because we we giving up all our money for real for real um, to sign this man. I'm gonna say 4.5 million. Hopefully he likes it. And let's see, he's tentative. He got three other offers, and he rejected the offer. So as of right now, we're gonna have to probably go Jacob Underwood. He teaches grit and grind, which is I. Right. But I need somebody that's gonna be, you know, what I'm saying more defensive based, I guess. And then we have to get rid of our assistant coach too. Looking at the coaching staff, we look pretty good. Now, we got a good coach in Jacob Underwood. We signed him for four years, $16 million. Yeah, And our assistant coach, Trent Penderson, he's going to handle our offense. Caleb Goldman is going to handle our defense. So they pretty much going to be working hand in hand. I'm going to leave it to the CPU to do all that other stuff. And we're going to skip all this, and we're going to get right into the end. B.A. Draft. Let's go look at the um, mock draft really quick. I just want to see if anything changed. And no, nothing changed. Nothing changed. Oh, they said we're going to get Zaire Williamson. I meant Williams, my fault. Zaire Williams is who we're going to get. And James Boknight. Now, those are really good picks. Those are really good picks. If we got them, I wouldn't be mad. But I don't know why. They're not putting Evan Mobley in this top five. What is going on? So Evan is still, still on his way to the Lakers. So I could probably get Evan with the 24. Yeah, let's get into this draft. 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 Into this draft. All right, so we're going to do the first couple of picks. Let's see. K Cunningham, obviously, he goes to OKC. That's going to be a nice little tandem with him and uh, Shay. Shout out to everybody that's been watching the OKC series, man. Yeah. And who's next? Greg Brown. So the Wolves finally get their power forward. I think that's going to be tough. Greg Brown. They don't have any holes in any positions, I don't think. Except, I guess, small forward. But you got you know, whatever. Jalen Green goes to the Hornets. That's going to be a nice little tandem. LaMelo and Jalen Green. Okay. Hmm. So 2K is actually doing realistic picks that make sense. Okay. Okay. And then the Spurs are up. Now that's crazy. I actually wanted to do the Spurs. So Isaiah Jackson from Kentucky goes to the Spurs. Okay. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. The Detroit Pistons get Scotty Barnes. That's a really good pickup simply because Scotty is very young and he's very raw. Who did the Cavs get? So the Bulls snatched Zaire from us. So apparently Zaire shot up in their draft board. So they they took Zaire from us. Jalen Suggs goes to the Cleveland Cavaliers. That's crazy. So now you got three guards. Hmm. How is that going to work? How is that? So we might be able to get Jonathan Kaminga if the Knicks don't pick him right now. And they don't. Wow. Terrence Shannon gets picked up from Texas Tech. So we can get Jonathan Kaminga. I think that's who I'm going to pick. He's going to be our starting small four right off the bat. Yes, sir. Jonathan Kaminga, welcome to the Sacramento Kings. Oh, wait. Wow, the Hornets just traded for the 10th overall pick. So they got Gordon Hayward up out of there and sent him to the Nuggets for their pick. Whoa. Okay, Hornets. And they got Jeremiah Robinson Earl. That's a really good pick. That's a really good pick. Jeremiah JRE in real life is a double double monster. And he can shoot. He can basically do everything at the four. Wow. Evan Mobley just got snatched by, yo, what? Pause the draft. Uh-uh. No. No. See, that's what I'm talking about. They just snatched Evan Mobley away from us. They have Evan Mobley dropping all the way to 26. That's crazy. No. Can we? No. We got him. No. Mm -mm. We got him. No. Mm -mm. That's crazy. See what I mean? See what I mean? I knew that the mock draft was, was BS, bro. I knew it was BS. I knew it was BS.
ass. It had to be BS. There's no way he was he was like what? They had Evan. They had Evan Mobley all the way at the bottom. He's a 26 pick. They asking for too much. Oh my god. Yo. They really took him, bro. Oh my god, I'm hurt, y'all. But we got the 13th pick, so we're gonna go after our shooting guard. Hopefully we can pick somebody up. And now I got 22 trade offers for the pick. So we're gonna look at these trade offers. They want the 30 they want the 13th pick and the 27th pick. Um whoa. 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 Whoa now. Whoa now. We can get Zach Levine for these two picks. Mm. Let's let's keep moving around first before I before I pull the trick on that. Uh we was looking for a shooting guard. And now they want to give us Mo Bamba. Ah Mo Bamba or Zach Levine. So let's think about this critically, right? Zach Levine won't be a free agent until next year. We can get Zach Levine right now, right? There are also centers that are in the free agent pool that we can pick up, but we probably might have to spend a bag. But we got cap room. We also need to get rid of Buddy Hill so we can free up some cap. get Evan Mobley mm, now y'all want to give us Evan Mobley Zach mm. Levine though <laughs> do we spin the bag or do we get Zach Levine to help him out we getting Zach Levine we getting Zach Levine I'm gonna have to do it man he's on a one year deal we can re-sign him cause we're gonna have some cat room I'm getting Zach Levine. Ah! Oh my God, we just gave them all of our picks for Zach Levine. And he get BJ Boston. Okay, that's a really good pickup. That's a really good pickup. Let's see if we can get for these two picks. Because now I want to trade them picks. Because they said that we was going to be able to get... Dude, what? They're trying to give us BJ, but that, is, that doesn't make any sense. Tristan Thompson would be a good pickup, but we giving up those two picks. I think we're going to go with this Tristan Thompson move. All right, so Montrez Harold, I knew that was going to happen. So Montrez declined his player option. Justin James declined his. Jonte Porter let his go as well. We're going to bring back Justin James. Um, Jonte, I don't really know. So let's see who all declined their player option. As far as big men go, the only person that I see that's worth something is Treyas. Oh my God, Jaleel Okafor and Kavon Looney, but bro. Now let's see if I can still get off of this Buddy Hill deal. What can I get for Buddy Hill? They asking for Matisse Thybul. Mm. Aaron Naismith would be really good. Precious. Burning carry would be good. Or we can get some picks up out of it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make this move, send him to the Spurs just to get his money off the books. Um they're giving us two first round picks for it, so we might use those picks to grab somebody anyway. We just getting Buddy Hill up out of there since we got Zach Levine, so he can go. So so far, this is what the team is looking like. We got De'Aaron Fox, Tyrese Halliburton. We got Zach Levine by packaging some picks to get him. Uh, Jonathan Kuminga is still on the team. We That's who our draft pick was. Glenn Robinson, uh, he's not on our books anymore. We got Robert Woodard, um, who was on the team last year. He's still on the team. And Justin James, we kept him as well. Um, everybody else is on this list is not on the books anymore. Uh, Marvin Bagley obviously is our starting power forward, but we don't have Jabari. Um, we got Jermichael Green in the season trade. We traded him in during the season, and then everybody else is not on the books. 
as far as the center is concerned that's the hard part so that's why we made the move we gave up our 24 for 27 draft pick for tristan thompson he's 30 but at the same time tristan is going to do what i need him to do which is get rebounds and get rebounds that's it and he's gonna protect the rim as much as he can but we need to go and re-sign Montrez that's the biggest thing uh Rashawn Holmes might be asking for too much I don't necessarily know and then Metu is no longer on the books so uh, we're gonna give Kyle Guy his qualifying which is fine we'll we'll bring Kyle Guy back so the moratorium this is where I always be kind of iffy with um, in real life, Rudy Gobert got 200 mil. I'm not giving Rudy Gobert 200 mil. We're not even going to throw a contract in his way um, just so that we can, you know what I'm saying, whatever. So cap room, we're in a negative 12 million as far as cap is concerned. We could re-sign Hassan Whiteside, but Hassan is expected to make 13 million. Trez is expected to make 18 million. Oh my God, Jaron Allen, $19 million, yo, y'all. And it says that they are affordable. I don't know how that makes it affordable, but you know what I'm saying? He's only asking for $12 million. But see, that's the thing. He's older, though. He's 32. Um, So Hassan ain't really asking for much. All the centers are pretty much old. Let's see if we can get Jared Allen onto the books. $17 million for three years is a great move. We're going to try to throw him a team option. I'm going to round this out to about like 18 mil. Um, that's not too bad. You know, $36 million for two years. And then depending on how he plays that third year, we can bring him back. And we're going to offer this contract to Jerry Allen and see what he's talking about. I think we're going to go with Terrence Davis. Terrence Davis is a pretty good uh, defender. He averaged 12 points a game in the second year. Let's see his badges. He got catch and shoot. Okay, so he got pretty good badges. Um... Okay, I think I'm going to go out to Terrence Davis. He's only asking for $10 million. Oh, yeah, we'll give you that. We'll definitely give you that. Let's see what Josh Hart talking about, and then we're going to go to Luau. So he's only talking about a two-year deal, which is fine. Let's go back and see what Luau is talking about. Now, Josh Hart is a better defender, so I think we're going to go with Josh Hart. We're going to throw some money at Josh Hart, hopefully. Um, he don't, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully he doesn't decline it. I think we're out of offers for the day. All right. So let's look at the team so far. So we got Terrence Davis off the bench. He's going to back up Zach Levine. I think that's pretty good. Um, David Nawaba is going to be our backup for Jonathan Kaminga. As far as our other two small fours, I don't necessarily know what we're going to do with them. So, ah. Marvin Bagley and Jermichael Green are going to stay the way they are. We might find another move for Jermichael Green since free agency is technically now open. We were just finding people in the um, memorandum or whatever, the moratorium. I don't even know what the word is. And then we got Hassan back, even though he left and came back. You know what I'm saying? We got Hassan and Tristan Thompson, which is a pretty good center lineup. It's just that as far as space is concerned, our power four has got to knock down threes. And as of right now, Marvin Bagley ain't really no three-point shooter. So we got to make sure that when we do our trainings that we get Marvin Bagley up there as far as shooting is concerned. Um, but I think we are looking pretty good. Uh, I really didn't want Hassan for the simple fact that Hassan is older. But we signed him to a two-year with a uh, with a team option on the end of it. So it's like if he ain't playing up the par, then it's whatever. Mm, Josh Jackson. Mm. Maybe Josh Jackson can play some powder for it. Powder for it? No, sir. I'm sorry, my friend. We do not have a powder for it. We do not have a powder for it for you. So no powder for it for you, my friend. Uh, I guess, you know, we just going to skip that then. So, let's see. Simming past that. De'Aaron Fox jumps up to an 87 overall. Zach Levine is an 86. Marvin Bagley is an 80. Four. And it seems that uh, Marvin Bagley did not take the time to improve his three-point shot. But Zach Levine and De'Aaron Fox did, which is pretty good. But Zach Levine did not improve on his perimeter defense. So those are the two things that we're going to work on is Zach Levine's perimeter defense and Marvin Bagley's shooting ability. Um, if we don't do that, then we're not going to run any games. <laughs> I'm just being real. 
Uh, Terrence Davis goes up to a 78. Halliburton goes up to a 77. David Nwaba actually goes up to a 74. So pretty much everybody kind of went up. I'm surprised to see Jermichael Green go up because of the fact that he's 31. And normally in 2K, uh, whenever you have somebody that hits 30, it's like after that, they don't get any better. Um, so that's pretty good. We're going to skip the Summer League and the Hoop Summit. And we're going to go all the way to the training camp because we got to make sure that we get Marvin Bagley up to speed as far as his shooting ability. Um, I'm going to load up the next year's draft class. And we're going to use the 2022 Chet Home Green uh, draft class. I always pick the draft classes that have a lot of updates. That means that people are going back and making little tweaks and whatever, whatever. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And the next episode, we're going to get into our first game against the Golden State Warriors just to see what the team's looking like. We might do a couple of sims or whatever, whatever. But hey, I appreciate y'all for keeping up with the video. I appreciate y'all keeping up with the series, man. Peace and love. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications so you know when the next video drop. And yeah, man, I'm going to holler at y'all later, man. Peace and love. Ladies.